Well, so welcome you all to the next lab demonstration of basic electrical engineering by Dr. Subrajati Sarkar. Presently, I am in the machine lab of electrical engineering department of Padala Maharaj Engineering College. So, we will be doing the open circuit and short circuit test of a single phase transformer here. So, transformer we know it is having a wide application there and this is what a transformer which is available with us. It is a 2 kVA transformer and it is uh, the low voltage winding 0 to 115 and this is the high voltage winding you could see it is typically 230 volt. So, it is a 230 by 115 or 115 by 230 uh, transformer 2 kVA transformer. So, we have to do the open circuit test of the transformer. So, this is the circuit for the open circuit test of a transformer. So, we could see there what we are going to do is that we would be open circuiting the high voltage side and performing the test in the low voltage side. We would be measuring the input voltage, current drawn and what is the wattage consumption. So, what we would be doing there, we would be applying the rated voltage in the low voltage side. So, in this transformer, it is given that it is 115 uh, volt in the LV side. So, we would be applying the rated voltage in the LV side. We would be using uh, LPF watt meter here. Uh, the reason of using LPF watt meter is that because in this condition, the power factor will be quite low. And uh, by performing this test, actually we can find out this no load power factor, magnetizing current, loss component of current from which we could find out the magnetizing reactance and loss equivalent resistance. So basically by performing this test, what we can uh, actually do, we will be finding out the core parameters and the core loss that is occurring in the system. Now it is seen that we are performing the thing in the LV side and HV is open circuited. We could do the reverse one also, but we are not preferring it. The reason being that is that in the LV side the current will be lower. Uh, in the LV side uh, the current will be higher in compared to HV side because the for maintaining the KV rating V into I should be constant for both the winding. So, if we would be performing the test in the HB side, then the magnetizing current will be itself very low. When we would be observing it, it would be uh, finding that it would be less than 1 ampere. So, if when we are performing it in the HB side, then it would be far more lower and therefore it becomes difficult for us to measure that small amount of current. That is why it is preferred that this test is performed in the LV side. Now, going to the next experiment. Uh, portion of this experiment which is the short circuit test. So, this is the setup. It is similar. What exactly is happening? That here this LV side is short circuited. Previously it was open circuited. Now it was short circuited. Then in the HV side we are connecting the variac, then the voltmeter, ammeter and wattmeter. In this case we will be using the UPF watt meter because the power factor what is happening here it would be quite large value in compared to the previous one where the power factor was about 0.2 to 0.3 generally that is the range which is coming. So what basically we would be doing we would be applying the rated current in this arrangement by this arrangement. So we will be varying the voltage slightly such that we can get the rated value through this HB side. And once we are getting the rated value, we will be stopping there and noting out the reading of this voltmeter, ammeter and wattmeter. And from that, we will be finding out the winding parameter. Means what is the copper loss that is occurring in the system that can be measured by this uh, wattmeter. Then we will be finding out the equivalent resistance or equivalent reactance of this transformer referred to this high voltage side because we would be seeing the terminal from this high voltage side. So, whatever winding parameter we are getting, we would be getting when we are referring that thing to the high voltage side. Now, how to find out this rated value? We can find out the rated value by this way is that it is a 2 kVA transformer. Now, the kVA implies K 1000 volt into ampere. So, 2 kVA means 2000 that should be equal to the current into the voltage. So, in the high voltage side the voltage is 230. So, it would become the rated current would be 
2000 by 230 so it would be approximately 9 ampere or so that is the rated current we would be uh, dealing with that so this is the way basically we are going to perform the short circuit test now the setup uh, is ready uh, for this open circuit test so what we had done there we had kept this high voltage side open and we are connecting the setup in the low voltage side this is the variac from the variac it is coming to the voltmeter then from the voltmeter we are connecting the ammeter and then connecting the watt meter over there and you could see it's given cos phi equal to point two this implies this is a low power factor watt meter now let us see uh, what is going to happen when we will be testing the things okay so now in a position to start the experiment so let's see what we are going to do we are going to vary the voltage now now once we are varying you could see that this reading is increasing so we would be keeping on increasing the voltage until it is reaching the rated value that is 115 here because we had connected the circuit to the lv circuit so it is pretty 110 so it would be increasing slightly and slightly more it would be slightly more yeah so it's approximately 115 we had applied so we could see that it is giving some ampere reading so this is basically the current and uh, no load current actually of the transformer and there is some wattage as well so this watt meter reading is showing the cold loss occurring in the transformer and see it's a power low power factor watt meter so that is why it represents cos phi equal to 0.2 now you'll be moving towards the demonstration of this short circuit test of a transformer well so now we are going to the last one uh, of this uh, transformer testing that is the short circuit test so you could see that the lv winding is short circuited and whatever connections are done they are done now in the hv winding so what we have done we had bought the two to have the voltage we are measuring voltage here because you could see that the uh, this voltmeter is very having uh, irregular rating in the beginning so it's not possible for us to measure that we will be measuring this one then this should be measuring the rated current and this should be measuring the copper loss that is occurring there and you could note it down there it's a upf what me not a lpf because there is nothing related to the power factor equal to 0.2 or something nothing is written over there so it's a upf uh, meter and uh, our transformer is of 2 kva rating so 2 kva and the uh, voltage is 230 so the rated current would be 2000 by 230 so we had computed it to be 8.7 ampere so 8.7 ampere will be rated current and what we need to do we have to vary this variac very carefully so that this volt current should not exceed 8.7 ampere so let us start the things so we would be starting the voltage slightly let me turn the things on let us start the thing so see we are merely given 5 volt but you see the current it is going to 3 ampere so it is going to increase rapidly even if we are varying the thing very slightly you could see how finely i am varying but see the current it is increasing and it is reaching the rated value very close to that we had fixed to that um, about 8.7 ampere then what is going to happen there is that we would be measuring the voltmeter reading is not clear because it, I had said that this is very improminent here so this is the voltmeter reading and this is the you could see wattmeter is also showing some sort of reading there so it would be noting out the readings and then we know what are the respective formulas so we, after putting it there we would be finding out the equivalent parameter of the circuit.